Okay, after several hours of wiring, I've got them all tied in. I've got to jam them in that box, or I might have to get an extension for the box. And then put a couple straps on that conduit. Got it coming into here. I got all the negatives tied into the negative bar, or the neutral bar. Got all the positives tied in. And I've got it set up as one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And I got the 15 amp, it's a little blurry, 15 amp uh, breakers in there now. It's the most we've ever pushed is 100, and I had it up to uh, 250 or something a little bit ago, but I think because the batteries are charged. Um, it's not taking a whole lot of uh, kilowatts, but we got 32 volts in, 13 volts out, 11 amps. Sweet, producing electricity. And uh, past couple hours or so that I've been working on it, I've produced, uh, it looks like uh, 0.3 kilowatts, so just in a couple hours I've worked, since I've got it hooked up. So. All right. Next thing is, is I got to get the uh, uh, inverter tied in and the uh, capacitor to the batteries and the bus bars or whatever. Anyway, there it is. Okay, now we're up to 240 on the 240 watts. I connected some more batteries, and that's what it is. Is uh, um, as it gets closer to a full charge, it just uh, cuts it down. So, we're charging some batteries, and uh, the lower the batteries, the more it's going to pump into the batteries. So. Newest update this morning, I got the uh, inverter wired in. I ran a uh, plug with 10 gauge wire into a ground fault receptacle through here and into the power strip. I've got a timer plugged in here and this is, I just stuck that in there, it's not going to be, it's, I just stuck it in there. But mainly I'm running the refrigerator off the system. I also have a 12 volt. Uh, battery charger plugged in for my drill or not 12 volt 18 volt <coughs> charger and battery we are using 250 watts and the solar array at the moment is producing 230 watts it was at 260 a minute ago so right now realistically it's costing me 20 watts to run the fridge at this precise moment <clears throat> what I did for the positive off of here looped it around I just extended it with another 4 aught cable um, and what I'll do is uh, I'll end up mounting a fuse right here and that's uh, that was my plan there ran it in connected it to the bus bar same thing on the negative side out of the negative or to the inverter through there which I'm still going to get some uh, connectors for that <coughs> ran it up to the bus bar um, these wires here, that's a 10 gauge wire, I just have that running down um, to the uh, uh, couple car batteries and a deep cycle battery. And this cable, uh, that's a 4 rod as well, that's going down to the, uh, uh, the sealed 12 volts and the two sealed 12 volts here and the four 
golf cart batteries. The 10 gauge wire, see I just have, here's positive and negative. <clears throat> just, uh, just to add them in because I've got them. Now the other thing I added into this is because uh, obviously the big solar panels are producing 29 volts. I still wanted to use the power off the my first little setup, so <clears throat> I've got um, I've got one. I've got just like I had it before. I got I got uh, a homemade panel and three Harbor Freights and another homemade panel and three Harbor Freights coming in. <clears throat> and what I did is I connected one of them to the back here because. And jumping from there to there to there to here and then up to the uh, bus bars so I figured I just dump some electricity to the back battery and I've got the others the other two connected here and uh, the reason I did that is so I could pretty much basically monitor these two um, uh, as far as voltage is concerned and so with that being said well they're both reading 12.5 right now 12.6. Oh, great! Refrigerator just shut off. So now we're pump. We're you are uh, making 170 watts, and it's only like a, a 10 a.m. in the morning. So I'm hoping by noon, one o'clock, we're going to start getting a little more production happening. But now we're. Uh, I don't know man, this is pretty fun stuff. This is pretty good stuff. So this will be my first day, October 21st, 2012, of, uh, of uh, monitoring it all day. It's been basically in operation since first thing this morning. Um, we're at 12.7, 12 pretty much fully charged. <coughs> The real trick will be to see how uh, how well it runs all day, and then run the refrigerator off the batteries at night. But I think I'm going to incorporate our timer here so it minimizes, you know, from midnight to 4 a.m. You know, maybe it'll it'll just completely shut down and not run, so we don't don't draw too much off the batteries. But just uh, another. Another segment in the evolution of the solar system, or solar setup. Thanks for watching. Okay. We are making 300 watts. And we're using just over 300 watts. Oh, we dropped to 290. Battery voltage is holding it. 12.7. We're running, uh, pumping 22 amps into the batteries through these guys. This uh, charge controller still hasn't kicked on yet, <clears throat> or the fan, the cooling fan. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I've added a few things to the circuit. The refrigerator, obviously, to kick back on. But uh, I added in. I this is uh, goes to my office, running the laptops, charging the laptops, and uh, and the printer, and uh, plugged in the Dewalt radio, and charging battery there and we're still charging this battery check our we're still on the first LED bar here and temperature wise cold Okay, monitoring it still. We're producing 330 watts. 
bumping 340 and we are using 250 and our batteries are at a good state of charge still sweet DeWalt radio is charged up <clears throat> just installed these brackets here I'm going to basically take this and place it right here I'll put a shelf on there get them set up right there and then uh, then the next step is to get the um, <clears throat> capacitor installed probably directly underneath there not sure exactly where I'm going to put it yet but anyway we're making more than we're using sweet oh refrigerator shut off again so we're really going to bump up the voltage look at that Five hundred watts, two seventy out to the fridge. Bulk charging. <clears throat> Thirty six amps going out to the batteries. working sweet okay started uh, acting kind of goofy and I think what's going on is the uh, refrigerator is going through a defrost cycle or something it's pretty much the only thing I got plugged into it Get the thing jumping all over 440 down to zero, 440 down to zero, and I'll plug the turn the power off and see what see if we have a change here. didn't make a change so we got something going on with it. I'm going to turn some of this off and see what's going on. The batteries are just 100% charged or something. I have to find something else to uh, draw some power. Okay, what I found out was that uh, apparently we were pretty much topped off and the, the charge controller was just shutting everything down. And uh, um, what I did was I turned three of, three of the panels off just allowed one to run for a little bit and then the refrigerator kicked back on and then what I did was go ahead and 
turn some panels back on. And we're good. So I'm going to have to find some more things to pull off of here and uh, see if I can't utilize more power, I guess.